let's open this thing up and see what we got. You just flip this thing open like this, and voila, you have the product. The Reed Cure itself, you get your little uh, instruction booklet here. Have your USB charger thingy here. You have the actual device, which is way smaller than what I thought it would be, because the box is kind of huge. And inside this box, you have this uh, little pouch thing here. I'm gonna be honest with you, if I had this to do over again, I would not buy this white color. It just looks a little, eh. You can get this in, I think, either black, white, or silver, or something like this, but. All right, let's open this up. All right, and you have your prototypical do not eat thing. It comes with pretty much everything. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So this thing that actually holds the reeds is detachable and also adjustable here. So that way you don't have too much pressure from these little metal things on your reed. So I read through the instructions. It's all pretty straightforward, pretty simple stuff. Uh, it's already has some charge. You push this button here. You can see this thing light up. And this is part of the sanitization process. I'm just going to charge this thing and put it to use and see what we got. All right, let's get to it. All right, so this is a read that I have also had to uh, hydrogen peroxide treat before I play it or it just doesn't play well. So let me try it without having treated it at all. And then I'm going to use the read cure and then I'll try it just to see what happens. <laughs> Cure this thing, cure it. All right, so you just put this thing in here. You wanna be careful putting this in, making sure that you don't chip the reed. Like so, just close it. You can obviously put up the four reeds here. There's a little button on the side. Push that button, this light comes on, and then you wait for five minutes. All right, I'll be back in five minutes. Okay, this thing is done, so let's open it up, see what we got. Okay, uh, I noticed that it's brighter. I don't have a system of measuring how much cleaner the reed is, but it definitely, it plays. And this was a reed that I had to kind of work with pretty much every time. But we'll see. I still want to do some more tests with this thing. So let's keep going. This is my Eugene Russo JDX5 mouthpiece that I fixed. I have a video on there how I fixed it. But with this, I'm using these Van Dorn v12 reads these are two and a half these play pretty dark i'm going to play it before i treat it and then i'm going to um, play it afterwards and then do a sound comparison i haven't had any problems with this read in particular but uh the idea of this is that it's a way of kind of disinfecting your reads i don't know how much detail they go into about fixing a read per se but since hydrogen peroxide is so much cheaper i'm going to compare it as such so let me just put this thing on i'll play it first and then i'll treat the read and then we'll compare <laughs> can take it out of my easy bake oven <laughs>
notice that big of a difference between the way this played before and afterward, but keep in mind, this read worked before I put it in there. So you can also use this as a read storage device, but so far, I'm not convinced that it's any better than using hydrogen peroxide. For a hundred bucks, I mean, that's a lot of money to spend on something like this. It only holds four reads. It looks super, super cheap. I mean, it looks like a 1970s prototype cassette player. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's really worth a hundred bucks. It's my opinion. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, after having had this thing for about three weeks now, honestly, it gets a failing grade for me. Bum, bum, and the bum, reason why mainly bum. is because it costs $100. And what it does doesn't really justify such an outrageous price. For one, it just looks super duper cheap. It's really no better than using hydrogen peroxide where you can get a bottle for less than a dollar. And ultimately, it doesn't really do what the name implies it's supposed to do. It's supposed to cure your reeds. But in fact, they should call this reed prevention and that this is, if you go to their website, designed more to stop germs from growing as opposed to some way of cleaning it. So, uh, on the plus side, I think it's a really convenient and much safer way of having this type of UV light to sanitize your product. You can get uh, cheap external bulbs for much, much less than $100. I would highly recommend against it because those things can be extremely dangerous. So if I have a safe and convenient way of being able to utilize that, that's good. However, whether you have this or not, you're gonna wind up using hydrogen peroxide. For one, you're gonna wind up putting your reeds in here and then your reeds are just gonna be dirty. When you take your reeds out, it's just gonna sit all that, all those germs and everything is just going to sit there and grow and then you're just going to take your new reeds and put them back on here. This is how I'm going to use this product since I already bought it. I can't take it back and I do feel like there is actually some use for it. Just like I said, it gets a failing grade on price, not so much because of what it does. So I like to clean this thing before I use it. And I do that with hydrogen peroxide. I just take a cotton ball, swab this thing down, close it, turn this thing on, let it run its five minute cycle. After that, I hydrogen peroxide my reeds. After that, I put my reeds in here. I put it on the cycle again. When it's finished, I take my reeds out. I clean this thing again with hydrogen peroxide. After I clean it again, I leave the hydrogen peroxide in here wet, close it, and then I turn this thing on and sanitize it again empty. So the idea behind all of this extra work is that this UV light here is supposed to give me some extra added protection that the hydrogen peroxide possibly can't reach. Also, I do notice that it does kind of tighten up the sound of the reeds so it does actually do something that i find useful if this thing was like 20 to 25 dollars it would definitely get a passing grade